Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Jules and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and the topic for today is Statistics and we are going to be calculating the median. So in the previous lesson we saw how we calculate the mod from the raw data. So today we are going to do the same with calculation of median. So to get median, median is basically the center, the value that is at the center, but you need to arrange your values in order of size. It can be from the smallest to the largest if you're given a several number of data. And then the moment you do the arrangement, if it's an even number, if it's an odd number, it's going to be n plus 1 divided by 2. If it's even, then we are going to get the n over 2 and n plus 1 over 2. Those two numbers, we add them and then divide them by 2. This is what I'm meaning. So let's look at the following data, for example. The following marks, the following uh, were the marks obtained by 11 students in a mathematical test. So 11, when you look at the number of students, this is an odd value. So if it's an odd value, the formula is going to be n plus 1 divided by 2, and you'll get the position of the specific number or max that is at the center or median. So this is going to be 11 plus 1 divided by 2, which is going to be 12 divided by 2. So we have to look at the sixth position. But we do so only when the data has been arranged in order of size. So let's arrange our data. So the lowest value is 35. The 35 is then followed by 37. Then 37 is followed by 39. Then 39 is followed by 40. Then 40 is followed by 50. 50 is followed by 51. 51 is followed by 54, 54 is followed by 56, 56 is followed by 57, 57 is followed by 60, and finally 60 is followed by 65. The reason why I'm cancelling my values as I organize them is to ensure that I don't leave out any value, and it helps with... Uh, visualization you get to know what you have left out very easily so my values have been organized from the lowest to the largest and you notice the 11 values so we pick the sixth position from the lowest so one two three four five sixth position is 51. you can also do this the manual way by calculating both sides so we have one one two two three three, four, four, then five, five. So 51 is the only value that does not have like another value in the same position. So we end up staking 51 at the one that is the center. So you can do it manually, but using the formula makes your work a little bit easier and faster. So let's look at more examples. So the height in centimeter of 11 players of a team are as follows. So we already have the value of the players or the number of players and it is odd. So one more time, it's going to be 11 plus 1 divided by 2. So this is 12 divided by 2. So we are going to look at the sixth value after we arrange our values in order of size. So we will start with the smallest and the smallest in this case is 150. 158 so 158 another 158 166, 170, 171, and finally 173. That tells you that all values have been accounted for. So the sixth value is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So 163 is a sixth value. So our median is going to be 163. Let's look at more examples. Find the median of the first 10 even numbers. So you'll notice our values are going to be total of 10. 10 is an even number. So for us to get the even number, we'll get two values, two numbers in different positions, and then we divide after adding them. This is what I mean. So it's going to be 10 divided by 2 and 10 plus 1 divided by 2. These are two positions. 10 divided by 2 is the fifth position, and 10 plus 1 divided by 2 is the sixth position. This is a 5.5 position. 11, 11. Point, uh, this is 11 divided by 2, which is 10.5. 5.5. So we will add these two values. That is 5 plus 5.5. 5 .5. We divide by 2, which is going to give us 10.5 divided by 2. So 10.5 divided by 2 is going to be 5.25. So you don't have to do the 5.5 plus 5 divided by 2. So you're going to go to the value that is on the 5th and the 6th value. The value is going to be on the 6th value. So let's arrange our numbers first. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the fifth value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the tenth, fifth value, and sixth value. So this is what we want. So instead of doing the 10.5 divided by 2 for us to get a 5.25, so it's the value in between. So we will take our values 10 and 12. That is 10 plus 12. Then we divide by 2. Do not do this because it's just a repetition of what you're doing. So 10 plus 12 is going to give us 22. When you divide by 22, you get 11. So you see it's the value in between 10 and 12. That's how we get our median. Let's look at this data. So let's arrange it first. So first we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we have 23. So this is going to be plus 1 divided by 2. So it's 24 divided by 2, which gives us the 12. So let's do the arrangement. We have the lowest value is 2. So 1. And then two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So five of them. Then three is the next, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have five, which is appearing one, two, twice. So five, five, and then six, one, two, three. So it's one, two, three. So we pick the twelfth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 value. So we said we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So our answer is going to be 3. So I hope you have seen. So just going back a little bit in our even value. So it's going to be n over 2. So we get 10 divided by 2, which gives us 5. So we'll get our 5th and our 5 plus 1. So it's 5th and our 6th value. And then we do the average. Keep that in mind. 
So fifth and six, you had them, you divide by them by two. This is important because we are going to use the same information when we get to grouped data. We we'll need to use the same formula. Right. So we'll check out more revision questions and uh, notes on the same in the app. So see you in the next lesson.